Um, we are getting cold. We are getting. Yeah. Okay, intermission. Sebab ada anjing macam tengah marah. Aku vlogging je kot. It's been a full day of traveling. We left the hotel at 4.30 a.m. Our flight was at 10. And now we finally reached our last destination. The second part of our mission is to visit the refugee camps in Turkey and Syria. Sparrow akan ke Syria dan Sparrow lagi akan stay dekat Turkey. I will be documenting the mission with the Turkey team. This is because Syria is very risky and it's better to move in small groups. Our first visit in Turkey is to Sekolah Kita Dua, which was opened in 2017. There is about 350 Syrian students here, and they learn mostly Islamic studies and get their education in the Syrian language. Here today, we're giving winter coats to the students. After a full day at the school, we head over to pack some coal. We bought 6 tons of coal to donate to Dar as Salama, a rehab center. Part of our mission here is ensuring that the money donated is being used properly. It's important that we look at the items, like food that we give out, to make sure that it's in good quality and not expired. Working together with the Turkish NGO here, Bonyan Org, is amazing. Such a helpful team. So, we visited Dar as Salama, a rehab center for Syrian refugees run by volunteers. It's located about 30 minutes from the Syrian-Turkey border and is one of the first places that refugees come to. Ada yang datang tanpa keluarga, tanpa tubuh badan yang sempurna. All of them are victims of war. Day 7, uh, second day in Gaziantep. Hari ni, I'm putting down my camera. We have the Turkish photographer Samir to take the photos of us doing the volunteer work. Each family will receive a box filled with food supplies, beras, tin food, oil, sugar, pasta. Setelah tiga jam, kita dah sampai to the camp dekat Purfa. Today, there are about 3.6 million refugees in Turkey and more are coming. We're handing out the box of supplies plus blankets for each family. Yay! Halas! Halas! Alhamdulillah! 250 families. At each camp, after distributing, we try to spend a bit more time visiting the homes and playing with the children. It's the eighth day, and I think some of the us are getting tired. Except for Putri, Putri, CSM, your project manager. Dia ada orang jatuh, so dia orang tengah kutip untuk simpan. Arah ni kita bagi empat empat bekas untuk satu keluarga. That's enough to last for the winter. So. Every little bit counts. Just to give you an overview of the situation. This is the house. This is the toilet. Bismillah. I'm going to show you around. We are at village area in San Leofar. Kat sini, uh, most of the lands are owned by Turkish farmers. Uh, so they let the refugees stay in exchange for labour. So, alhamdulillah, that's the conclusion for the winter trip with CSM. 11 days visiting and distributing at camps, schools, orphanages and medical centres. Personally, for me, memang hati retak tengok keadaan hidup kat sini. Thank you so much for all your donations and 
please continue to donate and continue to help. There are people all over the world who are just victims. As I'm talking to you, more people are being displaced by war. And if we're able to, we must help. Thank you again for watching this. Please subscribe for any further information.